the road cleaner is actually a new design from uh, Harvest International. I know it's going to look similar to like a Martin Razor or a Yetter Shark Tooth, but um, it's actually their own design and it's exclusively on their row unit. Uh, it's not tied to the row unit, it's tied to the mount, which obviously, I, I mean, I think there's a ton of benefit in that as far as not disturbing the row as it's doing its job. Um, it's, a com it's completely air operated. Um, it's got a huge ram, you know, for a ton of travel. Um, and then, you know, I like we talked before about the adjustable depth bands. I mean, you can see right now, you know, he's taking about three inches off, which obviously to find moisture versus move trash, because he's obviously doing something different than a lot of corn and soybean farmers are. Um, coming back, this is um, Conceal from Precision Planning, and they call it Conceal because the knife is hidden. And um, basically it's our two by two or nitrogen application. Um, I think it came out very limited last year, uh, full production this year, and um, very robust product. I mean, we start looking at these knives. I mean, there's, there's little to no wear on them and probably what, 2,000 acres through them. Um, and we went through some, some training too and it showed what they did you know, from the beginning of conceal to actual final product to make them more robust. And I mean, they produce these machines that would constantly scrape and pound on these things 24 hours a day to see what it took to actually break them. Um, so the product we got versus what we started with when uh, conceal was an idea, it doesn't even look the same, but obviously it is holding up incredibly well for 2000 acres. And they say the knives are the same longevity as the opener. So, I mean, if your openers last 5,000 acres, you know, we know what the knife is supposed to last. Um, downforce, obviously Delta Force hydraulic, um, one ram up and down, um, basically run by a lift manifold in the center of the planter. Um, like I said, it does all of its job off of this uh, load pin. The load pin basically measures how much weight is on the gauge wheels. And like when you see like downforce numbers, um, that doesn't mean anything to us. All we care about is pounds on these gauge wheels. If we find that this row unit is never leaving the ground with 40 pounds in the gauge wheels, that's what we said. Our setting in the 2020 is pounds on the gauge wheels. It's not pounds of downforce, it's not pounds of anything, but pounds on the gauge wheels. And different conditions, and I'm sure you guys have seen that, you might, at the same speed, you might be running 80 versus 130. It just depends on your ground conditions and um, what's really going on in the field. And this pin gives you your idea where to set that. So basically, once you say, for example, 100 pounds, 200 times a second you're getting a reading here, and Delta First is doing its job to make sure you have 100 pounds on them gauge reels or whatever you set it at. The meter-wise, um, it's a V-set meter from Precision Planning. Um, originally, it was never even designed to do what we're doing with it today. If you see its size, it was originally designed just to replace finger meters. That's all it was. And just evolved into more things. So it took finger meters from 97, 98% meter to basically 100% accurate meter. They call it 99%. That's the biggest insult like in corn to that meter. It's 100% meter with a few mistakes. Um, and basically, as that meter evolved from a finger meter replacement to electric drive high speed meter, they've changed how it how it's housed. But the actual um, performance of the meter has never changed since it came out in I think 2009. And then, like I said, we're running just a 12 volt motor on it. Um, you know, it's it's very gear reducted, um, very robust motor. Um, at max, they're only taking 1.25 amps, so they really take very minimal power. Um, as you can see in the gauge wheel of Conceal, it's all wide open because that knife is hidden there. You know, it's basically protects the knife um, and keeps it from wrapping, which has been a little bit of a challenge over the years, but right now, you know, it's still about fertilizer placement. So we know that we have to adapt and adjust to every operator's conditions with um, conceal. This is FurrowJet. And basically you have three options with FurrowJet. You can, well, you can do everything right down in the furrow, but with um, vegetables being a little more sensitive, we basically do nothing in the furrow. And you can see on FurrowJet, it's got wings. We put all our pop-up in the wings to keep it off of that delicate 
um, vegetable seed. And we just cap off the center one. So then we got guys, cash crop guys doing it all in furrow. You know, it's, you know, different, different ideas um, for different people. Um, but yes, that's furrow jet. And so far, as far as durability, them seem to be they're tough as nails. We've had no, no issues. With yep. Them. Yep. And they're, I mean, that design has changed a ton too, since it's original um release to the market and it's become a lot more robust um coming back to the liquid part we run two different modules on every row and basically it is you know sub second adjusting metering for each of the two products you know uh, the the one product the nitrogen product in the wheels called conceal and the other product being um furrow jet which is more of a pop-up fertilizer idea um, so basically yes and them all hook into they all plug together everything on this planner it's crazy because it goes back to our system to our system on the 2020 and it's all operated by four wires you know how that works is obviously people on a higher pay scale than I'll ever be on but how they can make this planner run and operate at any speed on four wires is absolutely beyond me and basically it just plugs in every row, they all plug in, go to the center, four wires, so one strand back to the cab, and basically that is it. Um, as far as we're doing T-band drop on um, the insecticide, get about a seven inch wide band right over top of the row, you know, with any granular product. Um, and when we built this planter too, when you go to insecticide, I mean, we have to add all this, basically all the, um, the bracketing to mount it and i'm sure alan would probably agree once you do that it's not quite as easy to work on every row but it's what we have to deal with right now as far as if we want granular insecticide um and then going right back to the closing you know traditional you know v closing style is john deere and everybody's used um, for a lot a lot of years um, with a si finger till wheel um, we went with the other drag chains just because they extend out a little bit um, and they keep them from bouncing up over because we thought as aggressive as these wheels look, they would love to grab chains. But I don't believe they grab at all. Nope. The only thing they grab is your pant leg on the way by, I would assume. Yeah. Um, <laughs> smart firmer. That's the easy one to forget because it's hiding here. Right in the furrow jet, you can see there's one per 10 feet on this planter. And basically, it's going to give us... Um, Soil moisture, organic matter, cation exchange capacity, soil temperature, and um, what else, trash Alan? In the furrow. furrow moisture. No trash in the furrow. Yes. Yep. You're right. Um, it's, it measures if there's physically trash in the furrow. If we need to get more aggressive with our row cleaners, um, there's been a lot of software changes to them, you know, over the years. Um, I, for the better. I mean, we just learn more. Um, they add new soil types to them all the time because, you know, they need to know what to look for. I mean, these are just basically laser sensors that sense all of these different things, you know, right, right to, you know, organic matter, cation exchange capacity, you know, where that's going with that, you know, I don't 100% know. Um, I know they're working on fertility with it, which sounds out there but boy if you can start changing your liquid products on the fly to fertility i mean that, that would dial in a lot closer than anything in my opinion um one other way we're using smart firmer is um it's actually full releases right now it's a product called smart depth um and probably not so much geared towards a vegetable grower but towards a corn grower um you can set the parameters in the 2020 be like i want to plant at 35 percent soil moisture minimum at an inch and three quarters maximum at two and a half and basically instead of saying i want to plant an inch and a half on everything it's going to chase the moisture line because they do say there's a lot more yield loss with resistance to emergence than shallowing up to that inch and three quarter mark and uh, resistance to emergence just because of depth in cold springs is is far more challenging to get corn emerging out of the soil, which we've really seen this spring planting in 40 degree soils, um, than it would be to plant 35% soil moisture at a shallower depth. So that's what's coming with that. Um, 
I think, pretty basic from there on out. I mean, we got our small, uh, basically our pop-up, less gallons per acre, we're running with uh, electric pumps. Um, our nitrogen product, we're running with hydraulically driven John Blue pumps, um, which both have been pretty tough the way it seems. Um, and yeah, they're both uh, controlled with PWM valves as far as they speed up, slow down, as this planter says, hey, you know, we obviously need more gallons, we need less gallons, so we're not sending all this product um, to pressure relief. That pumps just speed up, slow down to what conditions you're planting in. So yeah, I think that's a rundown. That was great. Mm -hmm. Top to bottom. Um, we said, we learned a lot. <laughs> We're still learning. And I guess that's, I'm basically the custom planters that we've built. I mean, it, it takes two years to get it 100% what, how we wanted to see it running, which I mean, reliability has not been the problem, but you know, we, we learn a lot. I mean, it's just everything on this thing is something we've never, never really done. So um, I think Alan, very happy with the performance of it. Uh, the finished product, no doubt, is something that we've never seen before. Um, but like I said, it's still our job to make sure that backup planner never sees dirt.